My name is Michael Buck. I'm from A4 Aviation. And I'm Beate Thompson, also from A4 Aviation. And today we are going to talk about GoGetter and the integration of the TurboTech turbine engine into the GoGetter aircraft. So this is a uh, quite an exciting project. We're working together with, with GoGetter and it's it's quite unique because some other companies have already tried to integrate the TurboTech turbine into their aircrafts, but it hasn't worked really well for them. It, it, it turns out it takes a lot of skills to do this. And GoGetter has brought, especially for this project actually, brought together a team of highly, highly skilled uh, people uh, that worked for years and years with, with turbine engines and, and design, etc. And, and they are actually able to pull this project off. And GoGetter got a very tight relationship to the CIA here in Slovenia. And the CIA is following the project closely. GoGetter is um, documenting everything as if this were a certified aircraft. So this works very, very well for, for getting everything done and well documented. Why, why build in a turbine engine into a small aircraft? That sounds stupid, right? We have the Rotax engines and they work well and they don't consume a lot of, um, of uh, petrol. But it's actually not so stupid after all, because the, uh, the turbine engine that TurboTech has developed is, as I understand it, it kind of recycles the heat. So like in a, in a turbo, and in that way, it is able to, or they are able to uh, get the consumption of fuel very much down. So. We are looking at maybe 15 liters per hour, maybe 18 liters per hour. Of course, that needs to be uh, verified during flight tests, etc. But we are looking in that area. And then, what is the what is the advantage of a turbine engine like this? Uh, the advantage is that it can run on almost any fuel. So you could put. Jet A1, you can put uh, uh, SAF fuel, the sustainable aviation fuel. You can put uh, hydrogen, they tested that. We still need a better tanks for the hydrogen, but the engine can actually run on it. And, and that's, that's really exciting because we really want to get out of Afgas for the general aviation part. Afgas with lead, is, is bad, point. It's, it's, it's not good. So getting to uh, different kinds of fuels and also uh, more sustainable fuels uh, will re be really good for, for the general aviation. Here in Europe, you can get Afgas, but at some airports it gets more and more difficult. But if you go to, for example, Africa or somewhere, uh, it's almost impossible to get uh, clean aviation-grade fuel, uh, Afgas or, or even car fuel that is clean enough. And there, uh, the advantage with the, uh, with the turbine will really shine. Uh, you will really be able to run it and, and don't have problems with the fuel. That was some of it. There are a number of other advantages. Uh, for example, the uh, time between overhaul on, on the, uh, on the TurboTech is 3,000 hours already now. So it's, it's much more stable, needs less maintenance in general. It does, of course, cost more, but yeah, with less maintenance and less fuel consumption, uh, that outweighs uh, the additional upfront cost. Yeah, I'm excited about the turbine engine because it's, uh, yeah, first of all, it has lower fuel consumption and you can fly for a longer range of hours, which makes it more enjoyable for me than I don't have to worry about, oh, now, now we need to go down and refuel. And uh, I'm more like enjoying the flying and because I'm, I'm into the, the photography and, and like taking pictures from, from both the ground and the air. 
So uh, yeah, that's that's really a, a an exciting part. So I'm really excited for this project because the turbine engine is a safer, more sustainable option for an engine for the general aviation and I'm excited to go flying with it. Mm.